What I've done here is zipped ahead and filled in the rest of the colour for these faraway buildings in the background, the towers and the dome, and I've done so using the polygonal and the regular lasso tool in the exact same way as I showed you in the previous tutorial. You'll notice how I've stayed away so far from the magnetic lasso tool because that really is an option that's only useful for selecting already filled areas and not really for grabbing a blank area in which to colour. In this tutorial, I'll introduce you to a third tool that you might find really helpful with colouring, and that's the pen tool. I use the pen tool a lot because it offers a lot more flexibility and control than the two lasso tools I've been working with so far. What I'll do is I'll work on this ship for a bit with the pen tool, but first I want to show you how it can be used. So I'll just open up a blank document so that I don't draw over my background and so that you can see things clearly. The pen tool creates anchor points. So when you click down on the page and release, you've just created one anchor point. And so you can click around the shape like this and when you get to the end, the same circle pops up to indicate that the area can now be closed. All right, so far, so straightforward. But here's where the pen tool becomes really flexible. If you click and drag at the same time, these handles appear and you can stretch them out or bring them close together and that determines the size of the curve. This is very useful for making any curved shapes. If you wanted to have a curve against a straight line, you can drag out the handles and then hold either Command on a Mac or Control on a Windows and click back into that anchor point. That will then close down one of the handles, allowing the next anchor point that you make to be on a straight line, like this. So depending on the shape that you're drawing, you really can customise the size of the curves and the shape of the curve against straight. So if you go over to your layers and you look at this shape in the layer stack, the thumbnail indicates that this is a shape and that it's still editable using the pen. Basically, if you want to change any of the anchor points at this stage, you still can. Go back over to the pen tool and click and hold down on the icon and you'll see a number of options here. You can add anchor points, subtract anchor points and even convert your points. To change or convert any anchor points, use this one. Just click on the point that you want changed and drag the handles out again. And you can hold Command or Control down and click and drag the anchor point to a new position. OK, let me show you how I'll approach adding colour to this ship using the pen. First of all, I'll select a colour. Now this can always be changed later, so not too worried, but I think I'll go for a muted dark brown colour. Then I'll zoom in really close so I can see exactly what I'm doing and then simply trace around my line work by clicking and dragging out the handles wherever I think the curve needs to be. When I get to a straight edge, it's just a matter of clicking two points. Now to move my canvas up while I'm working with the pen, I just hold down the space bar and drag up and then release and continue on. The hull of the ship is curved, so usually what I do is try to find the middle point of any given curved line and then click and drag out the handles from that point to match the curve. But you can easily play around with it and see what way works best for you. I'll only do half of the ship for now and I'll do the rest later. The last thing I do want to show you here is that if you make a mistake with your anchor points, it's no big deal at all. You just have to hit undo by either holding Ctrl or Command and Z on your keyboard and that will undo the last anchor point that you did and then you can just click again to redo it. In the next tutorial I'll show you how I use a combination of lasso tools, selection tools and the brush tool 